Hi, I'm Mike George, Senior Naturalist with Cincinnati Park Board, and man, am I excited. I've been waiting 17 years for this, and I, I bet you have too, because today we're talking about the periodical cicadas. We're over here at McFarland Woods, and uh, in an area that if you're a cicada, oh, you'd love an area like this. 17 years ago, billions of cicadas emerged from the earth. And this process starts, it takes a, a period of time. It starts late in April when the nymphs begin to tunnel up through the soil. Maybe you've uh, noticed some moles active in your yard. Well, that's what they're there for right now. Come about mid-May, the cicadas emerge from the earth and they're gonna find any surface they can find and start crawling up. Take this tree here, for example. If we visit this tree mid-May, why, there'll be so many cicadas on it, you won't even see the, the bark of the tree. They'll come out at dark and they'll start to crawl up the tree here. And under cover of darkness, the cicada nymphs, well, the back of their exoskeleton will split open and out will come the soft-bodied adults. They'll spend the rest of the evening tucked on this tree waiting for their exoskeleton to dry and then the fun begins because this is gonna go on night after night after night. The total emergence takes, well, anywhere up to two weeks time, and then the mating begins. Trees like this will be covered in males, and they will be producing the greatest love song ever, honestly. Their calls can range up to 90 decibels. That's about the size of, a, or the volume of your lawnmower, or maybe a tractor. And what are they calling for? Well, they're calling for the females. Now, once the cicada is made, the females are going to have to find a place to lay their eggs. And, well, trees like this are exactly what they're looking for. They're well established. They're in an open area. She'll begin to lay her eggs by using her ovipositor to cut a slit in the tips of these branches. And when she does so, she's going to lay anywhere between five to 600 eggs over the course of her short adult lifespan. Eight to 10 weeks later, these eggs are gonna hatch and while the young nymphs will fall to the ground here and they'll begin to tunnel back into the earth where they will spend the next 17 years waiting for their next emergence. The periodical cicadas, they're coming. We're gonna see the first evidence of them here in late April. Around April 20th, start to look for small mud chimneys appearing maybe in your backyard, in your neighborhood, at your favorite park. And if you find one of these mud chimneys, about two to three inches in height, well, you can actually pop that open. You'll see the inside is hollow. You might actually see the cicada nymph just below ground, waiting his time to come out. Uh, we're expecting this year, the peak emergence is gonna be around May 12th to May 15th. What the cicadas are waiting for is that ground temperature to get up to 64 degrees. And when the ground hits that temperature, that's gonna be the trigger that's gonna bring this mass emergence on. Now, why so many cicadas? Their survival strategy is to overwhelm every predator out there because, well, they serve as a food source for many different animals. Box turtles, birds, uh, I've seen coyotes eat them, raccoons will eat them, people eat them. The Iroquois were known to collect them and they would uh, basically roast them over flat stones. So they overwhelm their predators with such an emergence that there's no way they can all be eaten. Many survive to reproduce, lay their eggs, and start that cycle over again. So we're really excited here at Cincinnati Parks to see all of the cicadas. They're on their way. Um, we'll produce more of these videos here. There's more to learn coming up soon. So look forward, find your favorite Cincinnati Park, and get ready for the big party. It's coming.